Okay, so let's watch this. Right, the wow, title is Jim Bully Slaps Man Mid Workout. Okay. That's probably loads of stuff. Well, I was recording. Hey, buddy. Who gives a shit if you're filming? It's a public gym, you donut. Yeah. Has he been waiting an hour? That's what he's saying. But it, it doesn't matter. You don't slap someone. Yeah, no. If they if they want to take an hour on something, they can take an hour on it. But I bet he didn't even like question him earlier, like saying how long are you gonna be. Yeah, he, he just, just came he, up to him. Yeah. Probably saw the camera and was like, oh. No, he's thinking one second left. Dude, my ass, bro, it's been a fucking hour. Why are you like doing that? You you can't do that shit. Okay. Bro, you've been f***ing on your phone for half an hour. I have a rest. Rest for f***ing 30 minutes, bro? Okay. It's straight for an hour, bro? Now, I don't know, I could be wrong, because he only said it a thousand times, but it seems like the smaller guy's been hogging that equipment for an hour, and he's been doing fuck all. And as annoying as that can be, I wouldn't say slapping him and insulting him is the best way to deal with it. And I don't know the guy, but I doubt he'd do that to someone that's the same size or bigger. What is this guy? Yeah. He probably only felt like he could do it because the guy was smaller than him. Yeah. And the guy that was standing, the smaller guy, was obviously a bit worried about the situation. Mm. That's why he wasn't responding aggressively. And plus, you can kind of tell by, no offence to him or anything, but like, the way he looks, like you can kind of believe that he was on his phone for about half hour. Well, yeah, yeah if he has the camera filming, yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? Why he act like a f***ing asshole is this. The kid clearly was half his size and much younger, and he knew he could get away. Now, would you do that to somebody who's 260 pound bodybuilder? I don't think so. Oh, you're not 260. Yeah, a lot of people just think that they can get away with it. Yeah. But yeah, go to someone who's bigger than you and try it. Especially if they have high level of testosterone. Mm. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I don't want to see your ass, bro. Well, don't fucking look at it, you weirdo. Me? Put a f***ing shirt on, bro. Like, no. <laughs> What's a f***ing shirt on? Yeah. <laughs> see, if only people could say that about girls doing that at the gym, then there would be so much drama. Yeah. Psychs, why are you staring at my ass? It's optional. <laughs> it's a full-on optional decision. Um, Nobody yeah, cares. Like, well, go do it at home. Buddy, I don't care. Sorry, girls can easily cover up their art like their bum in the gym, you know. And if they don't particularly want to wear like too much coverage, because you know, sweating and all, then either get over the fact that guys are going to look or work out at home. Hmm. And here's another situation the guy in the mirror is clearly bigger than this guy, mm. so he's starting. Bathroom, like have some gym etiquette. What do you mean gym etiquette? You're walking around no shirt on. Oh, so you're not, yeah, you have no shirt on. You have a shirt on right now? What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? Yeah. How about we go inside and I'll show you what I'll do about it. You can leave your f***ing phone in here unless you want to make a reality video. Get your f***ing head phone. Talking. This camera's everywhere. I do agree with him though. He should have his shirt on. But why? Because it's, it's public space and you are like show it off. Some people don't like it. It's a so... public gym. If it was a beach, maybe. No, oh, yeah. Like, I don't know, I, I think it's fine. You know, guy having his t-shirt off. Because people should really see people who look good. Like, like if they want to like look good, like they do, then obviously personal choice of not having a t-shirt on. But I mean, like, you should think more to be, like, positive about it. Hmm. Is this making any sense? 
No, yeah, I can see your point. Like, people want to see their progress. Yeah. But that's what the changing rooms are for. Like, they have mirrors in there. Yeah, true. Um, but this guy is quite stupid. He just said, what are you going to do about it? He's basically trying to trigger yeah. him. Plus, he, he can obviously, with size difference between that guy and the other guy, like, you know he's going to win. Yeah, like, a lot of people say muscle doesn't matter, but it, it does, does quite a bit. Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's Why do you want to go through? Put, put your shirt on! Because you look like a f***ing idiot. Yeah, I look like an idiot if I'm flexing in front of you, but if I'm getting gym contact... You look like an idiot. idiot. You look oh, like an idiot. You think everybody here wants you to walk around with your f***ing shirt off? Well, who thinks I want you in my face screaming at me? Then put a f***ing shirt on, be a normal human being. You gonna put it on for me? Or you gonna let me finish my video and then put my shirt on? Put shirt on, be a normal human being. You gonna put it on for me? Let me finish my video and then put my shirt on. He does look like a bit of a donut not having a shirt on in a public gym, but it's definitely not going to make me this upset and emotional. I'm not going to get this angry at another man for having his shirt off in the gym, bro. Yeah. It's not going to ruin my day. We came giving them promotion. Yeah, well, he is right. Like, he should have his shirt on. Like, he is getting emotional. Mm. Motion to advertise it. Excuse you, homie. Excuse me. Oh, my bad. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good too. Oh, yeah. I got too. What you mean? <laughs> you, you ain't got to tell me, homie. You good? What's up, man? You good? What's up, bro? Okay, Yo, you good? Hey, you know Joey Stacks? Yeah, that's one of my homies. He comes stays with me all the time. My name's J-Hop, man. All right. Kind of chill, dog. Chill ain't nobody like that. Go ahead. 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 Go you keep all you still talking, boy. You still talking. I don't need to talk about You don't impress me, homie. You don't impress me, bro. 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 Come. I don't know if that's a player, like, because the number represents. I think it's rugby. Well, they call it football, don't they? I don't know the situation, like, I think there was. Jokingly friendly at first, but they actually have a problem with each other. Mm. Oh, no, it's all good. Stay off all go. Yeah, yeah, you still right. You still right. The guy who walked in front of the camera stayed calm and he didn't seem intimidated at all. He made the other guy look like a muppet. How are you going to get this upset over a guy walking in front of your little video? You don't own the space either, bruv. Where you guys walking from? <laughs> We're all going to the same place. You're a nerd, dude. I'm not arguing with a f***ing the little bell end saying, Don't give him attention when you're the one giving him the most attention. He's repeating it again. Yeah. Central Florida, just stop talking to yeah, him. Yeah, we don't. When you give people attention, attention is currency. You're done. You're cut off. I ain't talking to you. Last words. Last words. He's recording me. I'm going to record y'all back then. How about that? I'm going to record you back. He's literally just giving him attention. Yeah, but like, what? But what about? Like, I, want, I want to know the beginning of these kind of situations. But it's never like full on recorded at first. Shut up! Shut the f up! So I googled you and I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed. <laughs> this is what you wanted us to see? Mug shots. <laughs> he was arrested. <laughs> People who are actually successful don't need to list off their accomplishments to random people they see at Disneyland in line. In fact, people who are successful don't need to lie about their accomplishments either. Turn the f***ing camera off! Hey man, you're not gonna talk to me like that! What's going on? This is the wrong toes you're stepping on, buddy. Wrong toes. I'm just saying, it's- <laughs> That was like, that was like, okay, I'm trying to- Yeah. He's like, I don't want to be- While he's backing up. Yeah. <laughs> his right to be upset not to be filmed that's all he's asking for and that's all this is then and he comes back up here and runs his mouth like that again it's going to be a problem you hear me edward oh i hear you i'm off at nine o'clock you're off at nine o'clock i'll be back brother no 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 please please 
please don't do anything. Get out of the store. Please. please. Ma'am, calm okay. down. Okay. Hey, Ooh. stop it. You better run. Please. Please. Don't. Let's get him outside. No, nah, I'm not leaving. Get out. Please don't. I'm not leaving. Out. Like where are they producing these pranking, punchable face little pricks from? They all look and act the same. College basketball player photos AMAC confronted a fan who allegedly called him a terrorist. A Max agent claimed that the audience member hurled racist insults during the game and told the player to leave the country. The Golden Bears head coach says he is disappointed that Fardos climbed the stands to speak to the fan. The tournament organizers were asked to conduct a formal investigation and bar the fan from the premises. You know, Norm. Wait, so he was disappointed that he stood up to confront him? Yeah, he was just standing up for himself. It's yeah. not like anyone else kind of knew who was saying that stuff. Like, why do people think that everyone should just sit down and take it? They shouldn't. Yeah. They should con confront people that are just assholes. Normally I'd say keep your cool and ignore that type of shit, especially when you're an athlete. But it seems like a lot of kids these days, they've never been taught a lesson. Yeah. And I bet this kid shit a brick when he saw some seven foot giant coming up them stairs to come <laughs> confront him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a yapping chihuahua and a pit bull. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lot of people these days aren't taught respect by their parents. They're just raised to let them do what they want. Yeah, and, and they kind of get like no backlash until, well... Yeah, no discipline. Mm. So when something real happens, they think, oh, it's nothing. But then, oh no, they're in hospital. <laughs> Two hours later... <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Did you see that stance? Yeah, it's like, I'm ready it's like, to run. Spider man. <laughs> Get off the porch! Get off the porch! Get off the porch! Y'all so chirping like little bitches! Get off the porch! <laughs> Who is this dude? This is Jesus, bro! <laughs> Jesus! He got some glasses! <laughs> he can finally see! Nah, if that isn't the definition of a tough nut, I don't know what is. The emos are getting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, looks can be deceiving and he looks pretty calm. He might know a few things. I've seen guys that look like this and they'll choke you out in a minute if you don't know what you're doing. I think he's... he stuck his middle finger up and he fell off. It's his own fault. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Is this how to act if you're hitting someone? Those screams though. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone actually does that when they fight someone. They probably do. Well, I've never seen any in public, so... <laughs> You know, this man is so dangerous, they wouldn't even let him compete. Believe it or not, this guy's actually being serious and he's not a comedian, which probably means that he needs Michael. Get some help. <laughs> being serious. 